Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which I'm super, super excited for. Finally have this video for you guys. So I will be testing out playing around tutorial for the new, relatively new Elf Retro Paradise collection. And you guys know I, I've had this for a bit. I've, I'm really behind on a lot of new collections that I've purchased recently. I'm trying to, you know, get back to it. But I finally have this. I was waiting for a few products and to find a few products in stores and stuff. That's why it took longer to have this video for you guys. So this look clearly fits very, very perfectly with my earrings. That's actually one of the things that inspired me to use those shades from this palette. As you guys can see, those shades are like perfect. Very, very, you know, complementing to the earrings. And I still wanted to keep it coral and super bold. You know, very, my my mind is always very monochromatic for makeup tutorials, which is why I threw on this shirt. So this collection, I would say I have the majority of the products. The only thing I don't have is like the body glow, which I actually still do want one because that's also one of the highest uh, raved about products from this collection. And like the buffer brush. I also didn't buy the specific uh, liquid eyeshadows from this collection like with the packaging with the coral uh, lids for them caps but that's only because I already have all three shades from their already existing liquid eyeshadow line I have the three shades that they have that they put out um, in this collection so they basically just made a cute packaging for them and just stuck with the colors that they already have in their line so I didn't feel like I needed to buy the three other shades just to have the coral cap these are the same colors and we will be testing out the palette putting to the test also this new powder it's relatively new as well the elf matte setting powder I had previously tried uh, another of their powders I didn't like it. I had been seeing great reviews on this that it's very similar to the Laura Mercier powder, which I haven't had in a long time. But I went and did my thing because my battery died for like two hours, two and a half. And my makeup is still looking pretty, pretty good. I came to close out the video for you guys. And, you know, I've let the makeup sit for a while. You guys can really see how it's on my skin. I really like it. For the most part, everything looks gorgeous. So I'm excited. I will say the palette, there's a few little issues with that. And if you want to know what it is, then just keep on watching and let's get right into the tutorial. All right, starting off with the eye tutorial, I already applied my P. Louis Space in the shade Rumor 1. And I am going to just blend it out and make sure there's no creasing before I go in and set the Base. I just want this to make my eyeshadow last longer, not necessarily to give it a pop. I am going to be taking the cream shade from the palette, which is called Canvas, and I'm going to be setting that base again because I don't want it to be wet and help the eyeshadows technically. Um, that usually is what this base is for. It will make the eyeshadows pop and be super, super vibrant and look way more pigmented. But since I don't want to really help the eyeshadow that much, I want to see how it really works without the without like a wet base. I am going to set it with the eyeshadow. Now in my crease, I'm going to be applying the shade Tropicana and I'm going to take a real her brush in I embrace change and I really like this brush because it's a fluffy blending brush and it's super soft I feel like it picks up color nicely I've been using these brushes and I am obsessed with them so I am going to add that color to my crease I had to pack on the color a good amount of times before I can get like a really nice lilac shade on my eyes and I definitely had to speed this up because I went in over and over and over again to get a really nice like lavender hue on the eyes now moving on to the color royal which is probably one of the most eye-catching colors in the palette and taking another real her brush and i am one of a kind which is a smaller like kind of fluffy blending brush but it definitely works to pack on color 
really really nicely I wanted to take this brush to pack on the color but as you guys can see as I'm trying to blend it ever so slightly it's blending into nothing and that's definitely the issue that I encountered with this eyeshadow specifically which sucks because it is one of the eye-catching colors in the palette I expect for all the colors not just the basic colors to be pigmented to pop and this one just it pops in your initial application and if you don't blend it anymore then you might get a good pop of color but as you guys can see I'm blending it with a even fluffier brush and it blends into just a wash of color so this color is definitely definitely difficult and I had to pack on color so many times to even be able to get like a decent look this color definitely makes me feel like a beginner like I don't know how to blend like I don't know how to do eyeshadow because it's so tough since I wanted to center the look around this eyeshadow, I definitely will be applying so much of this eyeshadow throughout the whole look. And at one point, honestly, I feel like I just give up because no matter how many times I pack it on and I try to blend it, even if I try to blend it so very slightly, it still blends away to a wash of color and that's for me very frustrating because again it makes me feel like I don't know how to blend and it's just I had so many high hopes for this palette specifically this color because it is very very eye-catching and uh, it's frustrating now I wanted to go ahead and apply the color disco with my fingers to see how vibrant it is initially I prefer to apply shimmery shades with my finger and as you guys can see it's beautiful it's like a lavender color with a really pretty green blue duochrome shift to it and I really really like it as you guys can see even with my finger that I'm trying to apply the other color the blue just starts fading away so I decided to spritz my brush and see how well it goes on with you know a wet brush and it it goes on really nice I would say that definitely if you apply it wet the purple is more visible and it kind of comes out more i'm going to be applying the baby blue shade to the sides and then from here i am just going to be applying a lot of the blue matte shade and then continuing with the shimmer shades just you know back and forth back and forth to try and fix the look somewhat i really really like the color story of the palette so i will definitely keep playing with the other colors but for the purpose of the video i really wanted to see how the eye-catching eyeshadows work now i'm going to take the color disco queen from the liquid eyeshadows and going to apply it in the center of the lid for more of a spotlight look because these liquid eyeshadows are definitely some of my favorites and they're so so affordable so this color just looked really pretty all right guys now to move on to more exciting products that i'm crossing my fingers work very good as opposed to the palette but uh please ignore the eyes i have tried to uh, fix them blend you guys can see the patchiness i when an eyeshadow is patchy i really there's no fixing it i mean i really tried hard to fix it and i've packed on so much blue eyeshadow and it just blends away to nothing so i already primed my face i did use my uh elf jelly pop dew primer and i also use the elf poreless putty primer which i told you guys that these are my go-to primer combo now what i'm going to be using next from this collection is the elf paradise uh sponges <laughs> uh here's a little box but these are the three sponges which i wet all three of them because i want to use all three of them and see how they work out they are extremely extremely soft i can honestly say that my friend was right when she said that this one is way softer than the pink one from their regular line so essentially they said that this is the same exact as their pink one the pink one to me looks like it has a little more texture in it uh, as opposed to this one just seems way softer and smoother so i will be using both to see how they work and I don't really use these little sponges for concealer but I would definitely try it out so I so I'm just going to use my foundation I don't have an elf foundation that I like so I'm just going to be using the Maybelline fit me it's still affordable and I'm trying to use like all elf or affordable products <music> Thank you. 
For concealer, I will be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, the satin finish. Satin finish, yeah. And I'm in the shade Light Beige, and in the foundation, I got 220 Natural Beige, which is a pinch too dark for me, but I feel like with concealer, it evens out. And to set all of that, I will be using the e.l.f. Matte Setting Powder in the shade Light, which this is actually a new product for me that I've been wanting to test out. And I'm super excited because it's matte. I previously bought, I think it was like the glowy one or something like that. And it did not work out for my skin. And I've heard great things about this one. So let's hope it works good. Okay, next we're gonna do highlighter, which the one I picked up is the multi-dimensional face and body shimmer in the color Sol. And it's really pretty. I love the packaging of these highlighters. I mean, pretty much of everything. I think the packaging definitely spot on. Uh, it catches your attention. And let's see, look at that baby. Let's swatch, okay, it feels a bit gritty, just a tiny bit, okay, it's pretty. Um, I kind of wish I would have got the other color because after I saw swatches, it's more of like a gold white, kind of like a, a white shade with a gold duochrome, which I love those kind of highlighters, but it's okay, we got this one, so it's the one I'm going to be applying. Okay guys, the highlight, as you can see, is gorgeous, I personally love it. But I will say it has a bit of shimmer and I know that's something some people don't like so I thought it was worth mentioning. Uh, gorgeous. I personally love it but I just wanted to let you guys know that it might be too glittery for some. Okay guys so I feel like I look super orange and yellowish. I finished my lower lash line. I just added the lilac color, lavender color, and a little bit of liquid eyeshadow Disco Queen in my inner corner. Tried to do a bit more blending, but at this point I've given up on the eyeshadow look. So we're gonna move on to the lip kit, which this is a Line and Shine lip kit. And I didn't order this when I first placed my order for the collection. Because I was like, eh, I don't really need it. And the same thing with the brush set. As I started watching reviews and, you know, tutorials of this collection, this was probably the most recommended and the highest rated product from the collection. So I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I order it? And then my friend offered to send me this one because she actually had bought two, one kit and a, one for backup. So thank you very much, Crystal. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited to try this out. And she recommended and raved and uses this a lot. The lip liners, I guess, are really, really good. So this lip kit comes with four lip liners and a lip gloss in the shade a moment and the lip gloss i had bought in my order was a moment so i won't be opening this but i'll open the one in here look at this gloss you guys already know i love their glosses i have two favorite ones right here fantasy and bubbles bomb they're three dollars so this color i was so excited for it's kind of like a gold rose gold with purple pinky flex love it and then we have i guess the lip liners don't have the colors which is kind of annoying it just says lip liner the colors are on the box and it goes from nude one two three lip liners so i am going to be using i think with this look the nude two would be perfect or the nude nude. No, I'm gonna go with this one, nude two. Alright guys, what did you think of the look? What did you think of the tutorial? Now, a little rundown on the products. The setting powder 
definitely, definitely five, six, ten stars. I am so obsessed with how it looks under my eyes. Like it gave me such a flawless look and it just set everything in place. I love it. I'm so, so happy with that powder. Now for the Retro Paradise collection, I am very, very happy with everything with the exception of the palette, which I'm so bummed out because I really thought that it was going to be like the same formula as the e.l.f. times J. Kissa palette. Like that formula is perfection, absolute perfection. And I was hoping for that formula in this palette. And I really wanted to try out try it out for myself because I have watched reviews and a lot of people say that the palette was very lackluster compared to the J Kissa palette and I can I totally agree I totally totally agree I definitely expected more in these colors they are powdery very powdery on the palette um I will say they apply nicely on the eyes with the exception of this color this color is just a dud honestly and I thought that I should try out the colors that are the most vibrant and the colors that pop and get your attention right away from this palette because if we are to cover these colors right here well wrong hand if we are to cover these colors right here we have a neutral warm tone eyeshadow palette which i'm pretty sure and i'm hoping that those are going to be good eyeshadows but i expect that for the rest of the eyeshadows for the pop of color this palette caught my attention because of these colors and you know they play well with the rest of the colors so i wanted to strictly try out the colors that are the popular shades because i expect the quality to be the same in the basic shades as in the popular vibrant colors so that's just my opinion on my first impression my experience with the palette i will keep playing with it i will keep trying it and i will give it its fair opportunities i will play with the rest of the eyeshadows and i'm glad i did this at the beginning of the month so i can have like the full month to really test it out and give you guys my absolutely final thoughts on it and my favorites and maybe it's a disappointment maybe it ends up being you know a favorite but this shadow is definitely a disappointing shadow the sponges these are amazing. This is definitely worth it. I can honestly say that this one is definitely a uh, more smooth and squishy, bouncier than their hot pink uh, sponge. And I think I like this one a little bit more. Um, it also doesn't have as many like little holes or pores as the other one. I really like it. And this one is my first uh, sponge in this shape. And I actually really liked it for foundation. I've never put on foundation with the bottom of a sponge. It's always like the top or like the side. I don't know. I found that so odd that I had never done that, but I really like it. You can grip it really nicely and it's just beautiful. This one actually blended out my concealer so, so nicely. And I thought it wasn't going to, I was like, okay, this little sponge sucks. No, it's really, really good. And it's drying now. So it looks smaller. And in the tutorial, you guys always, obviously, saw it was a little bit bigger it does grow um when you wet it significantly i was like okay this was a baby and now it's like huge um so it fits perfectly under the eyes and you could really get in there and like blend everything out i think i would like this too to blend my concealer which i think i did um and on my nose because it'll just make it super precise so i really really like the sponges the brushes i am always a fan of elf blushes there are some of my favorites i love them these are amazing this one's good for bronzer but i think it'll also be good for powder or uh blush i just i really like them and the highlighter i told you guys it's a bit glittery so if you don't like that then you might not like the highlighter i personally really like it i even applied it on my body i don't know if you guys will be able to tell i went out in the sun and i could really i was shimmering and i was happy um but yeah, I really like this one. With the exception of that eyeshadow, <laughs> I loved everything. Uh, I will continue to use this and I will let you, I will update you guys on how I'm liking it. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this, this look, this tutorial. Um, 
I am trying to get back on the groove of things and have all the tutorials for the things that I already purchased, like the uh, ColourPop tie-dye collection. I'm so behind, I know. Uh, just know that I kind of like things to be very monochromatic, especially for those type of palettes, which is why sometimes it takes longer to find jewelry, accessories, and all that. The Milani collection, I'm wait waiting for watermelon earrings. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for so I can do that video because I'm just so pressed about having those watermelon earrings for that collection you guys know i'm just extra but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching appreciate all your support and like always i will see you all in my next video bye